Okay, and here's our long-awaited uh, video for how you set up the Arduino with LabVIEW. Now, the first thing you have to do is you have to make sure that the Arduino uh, talks the same uh, LabVIEW language. So what you have is, and let me go and clear out what we have, and you'll have to look at some of these for the uh, how, what you have to download for the software for the Arduino. But basically, um, for LabVIEW, you can download a set of software, and it's called LIFA, which is LabVIEW Interface for Arduino, or something like that. And what I have is, I have this under my program files, under National Instruments. And now, what we do is we have LabVIEW 2014. You have to go in VI Library, which is Virtual Instruments. And then from here, you see the LabVIEW interface for Arduino. And in there, there's something called firmware. And what we have to do is load the proper firmware, and it's life of base. Have to load the uh, proper firmware into the Arduino. So we go into here, and it's Arduino program. Now, you'll notice it's Arduino written by National Instruments. And one of the things to do, we don't have to verify, we can upload. One of the things to do when you do this is, and when all your Arduinos is, make sure you're on the right COM port. This says COM6, and it says over here, down here in the corner, that Arduino on COM6. And if there's any doubt, what you can do is you can go to your computer, go to the computer, and go to System Properties, and in here in the Device Manager, just go in the COM ports, and it lists our Arduino is on COM6, so we're fine. So we go back here to our Arduino program and we just upload it just like all the other programs. And it says it's compiling, now it's sending out. And again, it's a fairly big file. It's 21 kilobytes out of 32 maximum. And so once you have that firmware inside the Arduino, you should be ready to go with LabVIEW. So we can close out the Arduino and now we can go into our lab view. Okay, so now we go into our lab view and we're going to open the file. And I have a test file that's um, what we had recent files and it's just called the uh, LCD test, virtual instruments. And all this does is it um, tests for the uh, LCD. What we do is we're going to make this two, make this one zero, Make that guy 3, and we'll make this guy 10. And then for the outputs, we need this one to be 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now if we look at our block diagram, okay, and this is just a picture of the connections for the Arduino um, from pin 1 over here to pin 16. And this is where the pot is hooked up, so we can do that. Um, here it shows what the uh, block diagram for the LCD is, and here's where we set up the row and columns. And this actually positions where they are on the cursor. And this, this is the control message, and this is the string. And here is pinouts we got from, and again, you can look at a million different things on uh, the internet, but this will tell you where the pins are for 2, 0, 3, 10 and then four, five, six, seven. And that's how we figure out the pinups. And our message. And our, what our message will be, let's see, how about lab view uh, plus Arduino. And so what we're gonna do is we're just going to run this and now we should see it show up on our screen for Arduino and if we move over here what we have is we do see it on the screen now the contrast is really bad so we're going to have to figure out what the deal is with that um, but if we go over here back over here and if we look at this we can go in and we can uh, stop it and we can go in here and change our message um, and we can put in 
success. And we'll go out and run that one out. And if we go over here to our printout again, then we can see it was successful. And so that's how you get the LCD working. Now, and that's also how you initialize the uh, Arduino with the lab view, which is a really important function. And the next step is what we're going to do is we're going to try to replicate some of the midterms that we did with um, the Arduino. Um, but instead of writing code, we're just going to do it all with the uh, lab view software. And we can see how uh, you don't need any code. You just have to put in the can functions to make it work. And that's the end of this demonstration. Okay, this is just an addendum to uh, the test for the uh, life interface and also the LCD display. And what we've done is we've uh, basically adjusted things so we could read the display. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to put in display, um, display, test. And we're going to uh, run that into our computer or into our thing and now if we take a look over here what we've got is we've got something that you can um, see pretty much says display text text now what we had to do is we had to add this pot over here so we can adjust it and what happens is as we adjust it the light goes very dim and where we were the other day is that's what it looked like so um, we can put it in a middle type value in it uh, works pretty well. Now the other thing we did is we got a little better on the color coding. Um, all the grounds are green, all the powers are red, the control signals are these white um, signals, and then our data lines are the blue, yellow, black. This is actually orange, it looks red, but it is orange. And um, one of the things if we uh, can look, whenever you're downloading stuff onto the Arduino, um, we can take a look at the LEDs on there and so we and we can see it flashing because it's continuing to update and if we stop the program it stops flashing and we're going to put in another word in here and this will signify our test but when we run it we can see the lights flashing and that means it's downloading and so what did we download okay and that's the final version of the LIFA Arduino LabVIEW test